Hello friends, we are re-entering madness. And I'm worried. Oh, I just noticed like it really quickly flashes in like whatever eldritch language it is. I never noticed that before. All right. The book projected into Colden. Yeah, we did that. We found Colden. Oh, we were trying to escape with Sarah Hawkins. That's where we left off. That's right. Oh, this is going to be awful, isn't it? Friends, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Call of Cthulhu. I know it is post-Halloween at this point. But, you know, I'm not just going to abandon the game. we got to see it through to the end, right? Fun fact, I bought this game back in, like, April, specifically for spooky season content and it just sat there in my queue for months and months and months and months i couldn't figure out quite when to start it because i have no idea how long it is but i was hoping to wrap it up with halloween it obviously did not work but we're still going to see it through to the end all right let's go there's sarah it was in your studio what you painted me that's where you saw me of course yeah, I'm right there. Look. That's me. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. See, she says follow me, but then she doesn't, like, go anywhere. I don't know if we're just supposed to wait, and they're gonna disappear, or, like, go somewhere else. Trying to peek. What the? Oh no! Oh, okay. You can't even go up that far, huh? Oh, good. Come on, Sarah. Get going. Oh, that's actually what we're supposed to do. Wait. The machine. What machine? It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. You're we kidding. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Okay. I actually really like the character design for Sarah Hawkins. Uh, I think it's a super well-designed character. And... She plays madness really well, um, but also we are kind of desperate to get out of here. All right, what do we do? The gas machine. Are you kidding me? I'd be better off finding a tool. Dr. Fuller? <laughs> Same joke, still funny. Okay, so we need to find a tool. Uh, Sarah, do you have any ideas? Could you help me look? Uh, perfect. This? The poker? We're going to do this with a poker? Yeah. Oh, okay. We could do it with the poker. And now stand in the right. liquid gas that do it. stuff. Let's move. Oh, no. I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. <sighs> Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. Oh no. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. There's so much to dissect right now. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. You whipping him, stab him with the thing, dude.
Ah. No. Uh. No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? You are incapable of protecting her. For her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She hurt you. It was her magic. The bookstore. How do you know that? It does not matter. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power. And the world will fall with her! Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. See, that's what Pierce should have done to begin with. Okay, that was legit. Maybe we should leave her down here too, though. As much as I like the character design, it sounds like she's going to lead to the end of the world. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, a live prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Or we could have let her burn in the basement. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt. The guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything.
My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things, things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <clears throat> That is super sad. Simon. Come on. It's over now. I really need to stop sleeping on this couch. I have terrible nightmares about underwater monsters every single time. Every time. Let's look at our character here. Uh, let's max that out. Oh, we have seven. That's awesome. Psychology, spot hidden. Let's max out psychology, too. And we'll keep the last point, because I don't know what to do with it. Sanity. Uh, shaken. Yeah. He was on the point of strangling Pierce when Sarah Hawkins drove a poker into his throat. Pierce finished him off with an axe. This fight to the death left Pierce physically and mentally scarred. Can't imagine why. This game is leaving me emotionally scarred. Hopefully not physically scarred from the jump scares. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon... I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Yeah, scurry, scurry, Algernon. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. You feel guilty. Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? 
Because I am. I am the one who read the forbidden book. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. I don't know if I want to lean into the sanity stuff or not. I guess we might as well at this point, right? You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right, I'll help you. I'm the one with the mastery of psychology and I just got played. Played hard. Yeah, max out psychology right there, look at that. All right, I'm gonna run through your house though, Sarah. You should at least clean up these boards. If you're gonna cause the end of the world, tidy up a bit, just like Fallout. Is this the way to the office? There's still the issue with like the whole tunnel system, you know, under the, yeah, this, this whole thing. This is problematic, guys. I don't think I'm supposed to be going down here. Oh, it all collapsed. All right. Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it. All right. Well, it's less of an issue than I thought. All right. Everybody's got a thing with this stupid boat. Everybody's got the Scylla everywhere. All right. What do you want, Algernon? Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Oh, sanity's too high for that. A dimensional shambler? This creature, the shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Or just destroy the painting, right? He sold the dagger to Sanders. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. 
But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. Destroy the painting. Never come back. Uh, you must have a plan to get rid of it. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection. Able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Okay, so I'm looking for a bust. But a bust that is not this one, obviously. Do I have to... Burn it. What is this tattoo? Sorry, distracted by that. Stop stop playing with the lights, dude. I know I know what the bust looks like. Do I have to hold this paper? Is this up in her art room, maybe? I remember there was a pentagram in her art room. Which seems... maybe bad. Let's go check there. Just looking for busts. Sorry. Typical man. And by that, I mean, you know, really diligent attention to detail. Still don't want to step in the center of that. Is this it? Oh, that's a creepy one. Oh. It was in his ear. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by concealed... This sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins. <laughs> Where have I already seen it? Uh, her art studio? Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh, we can reconstruct this scene. Uh, okay. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Oh. Yeah. Oh. This is so weird. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of her Necronomicon. With her head over it, praying. The TV static effect is really cool. The Shambler is horrifying. And that fight still strikes me as very stupid. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? 
So she had it in the circle. Yeah, you ugly sucker. What else? What am I missing here? Oh, her? Wait. Oh, it's a rolled up rug. Okay. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. So was she trying to destroy the thing that she had inadvertently summoned? Is that... So she had like the circle to protect herself. Maybe she got the Necronomicon to have a more direct way to summon it? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. I kind of love how many questions. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Where's this? Oh, I was trying to figure out where the sunlight was coming from. Um, yeah, I love how many questions this game leads to. Like, it gives you some answers, but it's also like... Everybody's an unreliable narrator. So it gets really interesting to think about it in those terms. We got something over there. Nothing. Oh wait. Is that the gas machine? That's the that's the basement of the institute. Wow. Scooch back there, please. Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Put the lamp away, dude. There's the stupid Scylla again. Hmm. Self-portrait, portrait of her husband, portrait of horrific monster, another portrait of her husband, sort of. Very um, theme and variation here. But there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Blank canvas, stupid boat. All right. And we can't go in the kids' room, which is... Probably for the best. Okay. So we need to find the bust with the skull. Oh. What are you doing up here, dude? How are you, Bradley? Ah. It's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? Tell the truth. I'm biting my knuckle here. Tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Oh, God. <laughs> mm. All right. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? Good question. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. 
Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Well, oh, I don't know if I should be choosing the ones that are very clearly eldritch speak. But at this point in the game, I mean, I feel like leaning into it's the way to go, right? We're here for the content. Oh, hey, look. It's in the box. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. The amulet is engraved with the Elder's sign. Drake calls it the key to Rilia. He firmly believes that this artifact is of great power. And the back is blank. All right. Oh. What was that? Consult diary. Um. Mm. Hidden objects. Convincing or manipulating discussion. Forcing doors or using physical or verbal violence. Yeah, spot hidden. Oh. Yes. All right, so we just saw Drake holding the thing getting eaten by magic black energy ravens something yee sorry that's actually kind of mean your house burned down didn't it never mind alright back to Algernon Wow, you've done a lot of searching, idiot. Ah, uh, it's you again. Sure. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes. And even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. All right. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Ah, it's you again. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. I didn't know if there was anything else there. Uh, now we're just running back to Sarah, huh? I oh, can't go that way. Is it weird that I liked Sarah better with paint on her face? I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you. Considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Pierce! Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you 
as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses, how convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. <sighs> All right. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested, uh, ar arrested by the police. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Darkwater. That's true. Entering private property twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Arson? I didn't really cause that one. You're in no position to lecture me. With all the liquor that is openly on sale in the middle of prohibition, do you really want me to believe that you're enforcing the law? Enough of that. You're not going to tell me how to do my job. I would like to point out that it is you, not me, who is behind bars. There are things going on right now that are so much more serious than what you accuse me of. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Hmm. Well, I'm a master investigator. Fuller isn't as innocent as he looks. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoing. I'm reporting it right now, Dr. idiot. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Good night, Henry. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. Who's there? It's, um, it's raining in your prison. But, buddy? No, 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 no. I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. <laughs> Str 
struggle, try to speak, submit. I feel like this is going to kill me, but let's try it. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Refuse the knowledge. Your mind must open itself willingly, or the truth will immediately shatter it. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler. I knew it! No! Not again! Come back! All right, this seems like a good place to stop. This also looks like a really bad place to be. So yeah, we're going to stop today's episode right here. I don't know how close we are to the end of this game, but it feels like everything is coming to a head. I don't know if there's one episode, ten episodes. I have no idea. This one was super weird. I'm just really grateful the Leviathan was humanoid-shaped instead of, like, giant tentacled monster that would have freaked me out a lot like a lot a lot so we're gonna stop here we're gonna save a game i had already saved perfect let's just go back to the menu friends if you enjoyed today's episode please let me know you could do so by clicking like or leaving a comment or doing both or even subscribing to the channel if you haven't already as always please be kind to yourselves be kind to each other watch out for our lord and savior cthulhu out there in the distance in the ocean we will see you in the next episode.